All right, so here we are hanging out in the plant propagation area. It's kind of a chilly day. Uh, this is the, the winter solstice. So this is the shortest day of the year and the uh, longest night. So today we're working on plants. Um, we can't uh, do a lot with gardens this time of year because there's not a lot of water, but uh, we can get starts going. So a lot of the work uh, like we're doing here is taking the compost, which this is the first year we've had this from the, from the rabbit and chicken coop and uh, filling up bags. Now, even though we don't want to irrigate, we don't want to irrigate uh, gardens. We're trying to learn how to, how to have agriculture without irrigation. We are willing to water and uh, baby these little plants for now. And then a couple of them will decide when to put them in the ground. Um, this one, for example, is a very strange plant. It's some kind of medicinal banana or something. I bought the seed in pot squirrel. And we've had this. ¿Cuántos años tiene este? Tres. Tres, tres años. That's pretty good for three years. Mm -hmm. And so now we're going to put it up in the garden. We'll, we'll make sure we dig a really big hole to put it in. And we'll fill it with really good uh, fertilizer. And I, I don't know much about this plant. I know they sell the medicinal uh, uh, seeds from it. And uh, I might go <coughs> actually buy more of those seeds because uh, it's a little different looking than most of the plants we have. Uh, we got a couple guests on site today. Uh, Mauricio will be taking off and uh, uh, his girlfriend and Javier and Jairo will be staying until Monday. Um, on the agenda, maybe do a little yoga. I want to make a good yoga video. And uh, let's see, the lavadero got cleaned up, right? The clothes washing spot. Mm -hmm. Is that all done now, do you think? It's ready. Okay, yeah. so it's not like all perfectly comfortable, but it'll work. It'll yeah. yeah. Great. Sweet. Well, happy solstice. Here Enrique is working on uh, fixing up this, uh, this rabbit hide. It's already been in the tanning solution for a while, but you get a little bit of extra skin that wasn't scraped off. We're still trying to improve our process on that. We just got some new metal tools for the initial uh, process. It's called fleshing. Uh, luckily, rabbits are one of the easiest skins to flesh, uh, much easier than like cow or something. So it's a process that takes a while, but you know we've now got a big stack of skins, and especially since it's so cold, you start thinking about more hats, more blankets, maybe a rabbit skin jacket. By next year, we might be looking pretty weird around here. So here's a guayaba plant that we've done from seed. It's always uh, kind of exciting when we find another plant that we can get going from seed. This little garden here has cabbages in it, repollo. Uh, it's kind of an odd time of year to, to be doing this. Normally we would try and grow our cabbages when the rains are here. Uh, in this case, however, we want the seeds of this because we don't have a lot of seeds. And we want these to grow up and go to seed before the rains come. So we'll have a lot of seed. Also, the grasshoppers are gone now. They ate a lot of our cabbages. So, so now that they're gone, uh, we have a chance to, to actually grow these. Uh, without the <laughs> grasshoppers. Porque son piecitos. Eh, de los lados. Mira. This is a kohlrabi. It's an Asian vegetable. Uh, this got eaten by chochos, see? Sí? Los sí. chochos atacan? Sí. And this is, tiene dos años? Dos años. Okay. But it didn't die. And so the hope is that, that this will um, make more plants for us. Some baby plants came off the side of it. And of course, what we're really hoping for is that this grows and then we get seeds. Then we can have as many as we want. A lot of the Asian vegetables aren't uh, popular in Mexico or even in the States. And uh, they provide a really different kind of flavor. So, hi, you're messing with my shot. So I'm really interested in experimenting with some of the Asian vegetables. And a lot of them should do well in this climate. Look at all these grasshoppers. These grasshoppers are absolutely covering this plant. But I don't really mind. This is a native plant that we have tons of. Uh, there are hardly any grasshoppers left. Uh, and I'm kind of glad to see them attacking a native plant instead of mine. This is an interesting case here. I think this is called a bottle brush plant. And um, we've always had pretty bad luck with, with uh, reproducing this. Uh, the seeds don't seem to work for us. But we have did a bunch of pieces. We did cuttings and we've had our first successes with that. I'll show you how we did it. 
Uh, once we figure out how to do it, then we, then we can get as many of these as we want. It's a pretty tree. The hummingbirds like it. Uh, so yeah, it's like, a, it's like each plant is its own challenge. And we've got hundreds and hundreds now that we're finally getting to work out for us. So here's these, uh, these little bottle brush cuttings. We don't have a high uh, success rate with these. And what we'll do is we'll notice if, if the bigger pieces do well than the smaller or whatever. Um, in this case, you see that uh, this one has a little bit of growth coming out of it. This one has a little bit of growth coming out of it. This one looks like it does, maybe. Uh, you'll notice we put a little bit of paint on top of these to seal them. So the cutting, we don't want it to dry out, so we, we, we seal that. Now, with this kind of low success rate, it just means we have to do more of them. And we'll also wait for these to get to, to grow up to, you know, a couple years maybe, so they're big enough to survive on their own out in the forest without any water. These ones over here, little horsetails. I started with one piece that a neighbor gave me, uh, and I'm surprised they've done so well. Horsetails like a pretty uh, odd conditions. They like a lot of uh, water, so they're common where I come from up in uh, western Washington. These supposedly have medicinal value, and they're just kind of cool looking, little horsetails. So yeah, from that one horsetail plant a couple years ago, now we've got what? We've got 20 of them here. And then we usually keep a, a mother plant, a bigger one, uh, in case somehow these were to fail. These are Hakaranda uh, trees. These are done from seed. Very easy to collect the seeds, very easy to plant lots of them. We might even want to try doing it with a little bit less effort, just spewing the seeds out in the forest. In this case, though, we've been babying them. Uh, this is a great tree. It, uh, there's a really big one up there by the lodge. Uh, it's really pretty because the leaves at one part of the year all turn purple. Really gorgeous, uh, gorgeous tree.